Look at this next problem here, y'all. We're trying to use implicit differentiation to solve this one right here, okay? So, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to just write the problem on the next page so I have a little bit of room. So, let's say we have x plus y to the fifth equals, uh, what is it, x squared and y squared. Okay, so x squared and y squared. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're taking the derivative with respect to x, right? So we're finding the derivative with respect to x on both sides of the equation. Okay, so first step, we'll bring the 5 down to the front, and then we're going to have x plus y to the fourth. Then using the chain rule, we're going to take the derivative of what we have inside. So the derivative of x is just 1, plus the derivative of y is our dy dx, right? Okay, then on the second part, so remember, I'm going to think about this as two functions, the first and the second. So using the product rule, the way I take the derivative, so just to let you all know, y'all, if, let me write it like this, if I have fs and I'm trying to take the derivative of that, it's going to be the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, okay? So the first function is x squared. The derivative of y squared is going to be 2y times dy dx, okay, plus the second function, which is y squared, times the derivative of the first, which would just be a 2x, okay? So now, on the left side, I'm going to go ahead and take this guy, and I'm going to distribute it to both pieces. So we have a 5x plus y to the fourth times, well, I'm sorry, plus another 5x plus y to the fourth with a dy dx equals, let's see, all this right here, I can write this as 2x squared y dy dx plus right here, I can write this as 2xy squared. Okay, I want to get the dy dx's on the same side. So I'm going to leave this guy alone. I'm going to move this one over to the right side and then I'm going to bring this one over to the left. So I know I'm moving a lot of pieces, right? But first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this guy alone. Okay, so I'm just doing this on the, on the next slide. So I have 5x plus y to the fourth with my dy dx, okay? Now remember, I said I was going to bring this guy over to the left. So right now it's positive. It's going to become a negative 2x squared y. So a negative 2x squared y, again with a dy dx, equals, let's see, uh, this guy is going to stay where it is, so 2xy squared, 2xy squared, but this one is now moving to the right, so it's going to become a minus 5x plus y all raised to the fourth, okay? So I know it's a little messy, right? Uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and factor out my dy dx. So we have a dy dx and I have a 5x plus y to the fourth minus a 2x squared y equals a 2xy squared minus 5x plus y to the fourth. And then the last thing I need to do is divide by this piece. So we're going to have dy dx equals 2x squared y minus 5x plus y to the fourth, all over 5x plus y to the fourth minus 2x squared y. And here is my answer for the first part, right? So if I were to come back over here, that is what we would put right there, okay? Now, there is a part B. So part B says... Uh, you find the slope and the y-intercept of the tangent line, and we're going to put it in this form, y equals mx plus b. Okay, so we're going to do this part now. So my point was, what was it, 3, 2? Yeah, my point was 3, 2. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to evaluate this, y'all, at the point 3, 2. Okay, so let's write dy dx evaluated at the point 3 and 2 of, let me come back, 2x squared y minus 5x plus y all raised to the fourth over 5x plus y all raised to the fourth uh, minus 2x squared y. 
Okay, so now we're going to just plug our numbers in. So let's see what we have. We have 2. Remember, that's x and that's y. So 3 squared times 2 minus 5, uh, 3 plus 2 to the 4th over 5, 3 plus 2 to the 4th minus 2. Uh, x is 3, so that's 3 squared, uh, and y, which is 2. Let me see. I want to make sure I wrote this down correctly. Ah, okay, look. Sorry, guys. I made a little boo-boo right here. I noticed something. Uh, on the right side, sorry about that. Right here, I had an xy squared, and I changed it to an x squared y. So this really here, y'all, sorry, that should have been a 2xy squared. So when I'm doing my evaluating, I'm putting the square on the wrong part. The square is really on the y. So over here, the square is really on the y. Okay, so that, I just caught that right now. I didn't want to make the same mistake. Okay, so now let me see. Uh, I'm just going to do this on my calculator. So I'm doing this on, I have the same calculator app I use, guys. I have it on my phone. I'm just going to do this real quick here. So let me see. So I have 2 times 3 times 2 squared is, this is giving me 24 minus, let's see, 5, or 3 plus 2 is 5, so 5, it's actually 5 to the 5th, so minus 3125. On the bottom, this is also 3125, and this here is, I want to say it's going to be a 36. So 2 times 3 squared times 2, yeah, that's a 36. Okay, so let me see. 24 minus 3125 upstairs. I'm coming up with a negative 3101. On the bottom, 3125 minus 36 is 3089. And I want to say in this problem, y'all, we are doing this in terms of a decimal. So I'm just going to divide this out. And again, I'm going to four decimal places. So I'm coming up with like a negative 1.039. Uh, no, I'm sorry. 0039. Okay. That's roughly what I'm getting for my... M. This is the slope of my tangent line, right? So this is the slope of my tangent line. So right over here, that's the number that I'm putting in right here. That's a negative 1.0039. Okay. Then I'm going to find my B. Okay. So look, let's do it this way. So if my M is a negative 1.0039 and my point was a point 0.3 and 2, right? because that's what we evaluated at, yep. Then all we're doing now is we're going y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So that's my x1 and that's my y1. So y minus 2 equals negative 1.0039 uh, x minus 3. Okay. So y minus 2 equals negative 1.0039x that and that, when I multiply them, times a negative 3 is, again, I'm doing this on four decimal places, y'all. I'm coming up with a positive 3.011, uh, let me see, sorry about that, 3.017 is what I'm coming up with. And then I'm just going to add 2 to both sides. So I'm coming up with y equals negative 1.0039x plus 5.0117. So that 5.0117, that's what I'm going to put right here. Okay. And... I'm done. Okay, so I hope that helps. If y'all got questions, let me know.